guys, this is episode 6 of Minecraft Down Under. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're actually going to be continuing on the uh, main base because last episode we actually started construction construction of the base. Uh, got a frame up and we put a window in. I went ahead and put the other window in as well. And um, I tried to find the center. I did, I did find the center. So what I did is just, this is six blocks here. I took out these two and this was another six blocks. So I ended up finding the center. I think that that's... That has to be center. Um, so I started putting up the beams as well on top here, which they run all the way out the back here. So that's that's going to be perfect. I'm not sure how long this is. So I stopped around here because I'm not sure how many. Uh, I want at least three large windows here, but I didn't I didn't know how far to go. So we might have to shave some off. We might have to put more on. Um, yeah. So hopefully this episode we're going to get more of this base done. I really want to get this. Uh, the, well, I would call it the diamond logo in the center there. We're gonna get, we're gonna start on that. That's the first thing we're gonna start on. Is that there is is get that big large diamond glass uh, window carved out. I think that that should be obviously the first thing we do. So let's go ahead and get some scaffolding out. And um, okay, so the issue here is this all here. So let's mark it all here. Eventually. Is going to be some sort of pillar or something that matches the rest of the build. I'm not sure at this stage because um, we got to we got to overcome the redstone because we're going to have piston doors in here, right? So there's going to be there's going to have to be some redstone hidden in the walls. The problem is the walls only one thick, so you know we've got to we've got to somehow disguise it in there and make something here to fit in. But we'll see, we'll see. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to go three from the door. So one, one, two, and three. Now that's just a gap. We're just going to go with that gap just in case so we can build anything we want in here. And it's the, the, the big glass window is not going to come down to the piston door exactly to the to the piston door. So that that's the key goal. Actually, it shouldn't even be used. The red brick's more important than the stone brick right now. So let's just use the stone brick as scaffolding. Ouch! Day to your fruit loop. Crikey. Okay, so it's gonna be okay. Let's let's go ahead and do this. So we're doing a diamond shaped shape. It's not gonna be exact, but diamond shaped uh, glass window here, like my 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 big diamond logo in my intros. So let's let's go ahead and get started on one side then we'll try mirror it on the other side so what we'll do is carve out we're going to put two on the bottom here and what we'll do is bring it up i don't, I don't we can't bring it up too far we're not going to have the room that's okay come up a little bit we'll stand back and have a look once we put it in um, um cracky i would say one more where are we exactly? See, if we go up to here and then start going sideways again, because we can't just turn it, it's going to look a little bit funny. So we're going to go up by two. I would say keep going. We got the room to do it. Why not? Just getting a little bit close right now. Oh, I'm trying to reach that far, and I cannot reach that far. Um, one, two, three. We'll take it right up to the top. And then... So right there, and then we'll try and mirror that on the other side. How does that look? That is the closest we're going to get to the edges, I think. Because if we went out one more block, then these blocks here would start hitting the frame, which I don't want, obviously. So, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and jump down from here uh, not jump completely down but start on the other way wait, wait wait start on the other side so what we're going to do to mirror it is just count you can count blocks or we can use the structure itself so as you can see these two blocks on the top so the, the the main beams there we we stopped here we went two up so all we have to do is keep digging until we get to the side then go one up then start to curve so that way it's mirrored we we end on that one Okay, so that is going to be the goal there. And then we can get rid of all this and stand back and make sure she looks a little bit diamondish. I know that's not going to be perfect, but what are we going to do? So, what, what, that one? We go up. Oh, crikey. Go out a bit. There we go. So, that one there, I'm pretty... Was it the second one? It was the second one, wasn't it? 
Yeah, second one here. So it was this one. Hopefully I'm getting that right. Yeah, it looks looks roughly the same. Okay, and then we curve it back up. So let's get back, let's keep going up for more scaffolding. Curve it back up. There we go. Fantastic. And we'll knock that out in the middle and then go ahead and get rid of all this scaffolding here. There we go. Lovely. And we'll just use that top beam as this, where it stops. We'll go get off now, stand back, have a look, and see if this uh, actually looks anything like a diamond shape, because that's the way I want the glass. And then we've got to go actually get some glass. I'm, I'm planning to use, um, I think the color's called cyan. That's the color I've chosen. That's the color I want. Um, all light blue. Light blue would do too, but then again. All right, let's get off of this, deconstruct the scaffolding and make sure I pick everything up because I need this. I don't have bazillions of resources just to go thrown away at the moment. So pick it all up, grab it. All right, now we'll run over here and we will have a quick squiz. Oh yeah, there we go. I like that. That's not too big. It could be bigger, but how, how's how the top is going to work if, if you go bigger than that? Is it matching both sides? So it was on the second beam there. I matched the other side, and it was on the second beam. Yeah, okay. Just making sure that it was all centered, because, man, if you stuff this up, then crikey, you've got to come back and fix it all. Be a bit of a pain in the bum. So let's go ahead and dig the rest of this window out now. So up we go. And we just go ahead and dig it out. And then we can start working on getting it outlined that is going to be one of the key goals here is to get it outlined and we're going to use whoa is it getting dark no it's not the sun is it just felt like it was getting dark just then oh a little bit paranoid i've had witch problems here oh trust me whoa i just broke some yep uh, trust me, when a witch breaks, uh, poisons you, you know it. I ran straight as that. Oh, yeah. You gotta be careful. So, as soon as nighttime hits, I really, I should bring the bed over, to be honest. Uh, working outside, you, that means you don't have to run back to, to the hobbit hole every single night. Crikey. Alright, just have these couple to go. So, what we'll do is just scaffold up. Take this out. And then... Once we do this, we can get the window done, and then we can see what it looks like. Make sure it all looks matching and whoop, right, going down, picking up all my stuff. There we go. Run back. Uh, we might want to sleep as well. That's probably going to, yeah, because that sun's going down. Oh, definitely. Fantastic. Once that's outlined, I'm going to outline it in uh, the red brick or the, the nether brick. I should be calling it by its proper name data. Um, nether brick, outline the entire thing, and then we're going to put glass in there. But for now, we are going to sprint back to our hobbit hole. And I think first thing in the morning, what we'll do is outline it in the nether brick. And I've, I've already been glowstone um, farming. I've got a little bit of glowstone, which I could show you guys. Um, this one, yep, see, I've got a little bit of glowstone, so that's going to be fantastic. We'll go back over here and grab some more stacks of that, and grab some more stacks of stone brick as well. I have to put more on, yeah, I've got to put more, more cobblestone has to be smelted down, because trust me, this, we're only start. we're only working on one wing of the base right now. This base is going to be huge it's, it's gonna look pretty cool but it's, it's gonna be huge all right close that up okay let's go continue now we're gonna do the outline like i want we're gonna outline that that glass and we got the glowstone i'll show you i'll ah, i can show you guys what i mean by the with, with the outlines of the glass with the windows so last episode i was discussing uh the windows here and i was trying to explain doing this so just put a, a square with glowstone so it makes everything glow at night time once it's full dark here. So what, what that's going to do is if once we put glass in here, it will make the glass go, you know, it will radiate at night time. It will, should look really, really good. 
Um, that way we don't have to put, you know, torches everywhere like that. I would, I think the glowstone is going to work fantastically. All right, we better get to work. That We'll do the same thing with the big diamond here. I think we'll do that with every single window. So we don't have to use torches and it puts a lot of light. So, at, so during the daytime, you know, sunlight goes to the windows, but at nighttime, then that glowstone kicks in and everything sort of glows. It's going to, I think it's going to look pretty, pretty good. So, again, I should have brought cobblestone. <laughs> Crikey. Cobble I've got 19 cobblestone. That is it for scaffolding. So, what we'll do, what I want to do, is outline the entire thing on both sides as well. Like this. So, we'll start on this side, and we'll outline it. The whole thing. I've got to take this scaffolding down. Holy smokes. I left this up when I was putting the other, the outline on the, the, out, the outer edges there. So what we want to do is go all the way around. Uh oh, didn't. Hopefully this is going to fit. Yes, it does. Fantastic. So do that on both sides. Uh, going up and keep removing some of this scaffolding that I keep leaving laying around. And then we've got to we've got to hunt down some so cyan. Um, is the color of glass I really want to use in this build. And how you... That die, I think, is cactus. Cactus and lapis. I guess I'm going to be using my lapis up then. So cactus and lapis makes that color. And what we'll do... And then we need to... Oh, we need to also get some... Um, what's it called? We need to get some... Some sand. So, oh, I really don't want to destroy that desert because it's so close. Oh, you know, me, I would just, I mean, how about we go to the back of the desert? I'm trying not to destroy the environment as we building around it. Um, we're trying to keep most of it intact. So, we'll see, we'll see. There we go. And I think that full outline is done. So, this beautiful big glass windows going in here and what we'll do same thing with the other windows we can actually get rid of one of these and put glowstone in it so at night time that's going to glow very nicely right around like that Oop. nope I can't reach that far there we go so this is going to make the glass, the, the, the colored glass, the cyan glass, glow at night time. So it should look pretty gorgeous. Well, I'm hoping. And since we're doing it inside this brick, it the glowstone shouldn't stand out all that much. Neither though it might add some extra color to the build. All right. And we can stand back and have a squeeze of this. And we can go put our very f some glass in here. And we'll see what it all looks like. Okay, again, scaffold up. Alrighty. So soon, oh, whoops, soon we're going to have to start worrying about a, some supply of, um, some, a supply of wool because we need to make carpet. This place is going to need a metric butt ton of carpet. So that means a string farm because if you didn't know if you combine all the string together in you know, a like fill your crafting window up with string it creates a wall block so it's yeah we're going to make ourselves a string farm so that means we've got to hunt down a spider spawner of some sort a cave spider spawner or a regular dungeon spawner will do absolutely fine and here we go Whoop. ouch go have a go have a squeeze at our work Oh yeah, definitely looking good, Data, looking good. Okay, so what we should do is go get ourselves some cactus and some sand. That's our next task because we want to fill that glass in um, just to make sure it look, looks all fantastic, looks all good. So what we'll do is we will... Actually, let's get the chest, let's get another chest out. So what we'll do is just put another one. I can't believe this this little hobbit hole is becoming full of chests. I just hoard everything right now. Crikey. I've also put um, signs on me coal and iron now. I've separate, separated them, which is 
which is good because I've been mining and mining a lot. All right, so what we'll do is concentrate on farming some sand. So, funny story about cooked chicken. I was in the now there is no chooks around right now. We don't have any chooks around the area, which sucks. So you you're probably wondering why I have cooked chicken. Uh, I was in the Nether, you see, and I was getting glowstone, and there was a zombie pigman chicken jockey. Uh, it managed to cook the chicken. He ran into the fly fire. I was going to literally try push the chicken through the portal so we would have chicken. It was kind of hilarious. It was the most interesting glowstone hunt I ever went on. <laughs> so, yeah, I got my... That's technically my very first cooked chicken ever. Completely. And you guys know I'm a, I'm obsessed when it comes to, to cooked chooks. I, I love chicken. Chicken's my favorite. All right, so... We've got our shovel, which I think we will repair before going out there. Um, let's just grab a diamond. Throw this in here. Cost one. Ding, ding, ding. Make it all brand smacking new. I love this new enchanting system with 1.8. It's absolutely lovely. Look, I've already got a pickaxe of doom. And I can repair that sucker at any time. Look, we've already used what? Uh, 60% of it up. Check this out. We'll just throw it in here. My pickaxe of doom, efficiency 5, unbreaking 3, fortune 3. Throw these in here. 5 levels. Bam! Brand smacking new pickaxe of doom. I I should be doing this all the time. And just to make an efficiency 5 pick, guys, because I get a lot of, I get a lot of, you know, noobs through this, on this channel that go, you, you can't get an efficiency 5, that, you cheated that in, Data, you cheated that in. I'm like, yes, I did, yes, I did, no, I didn't. <laughs> so, what you do is you get, you get two efficiency 5, efficiency 4s together, like, any, any, of anything, so these two should do fine, do I have any crappy ones? I don't have any plain efficiency so you, you get two of them together, and you can combine them, oops, daddy, your fruit loop, take them out. You can combine them together to make, see, efficiency five, right there, guys, it's seriously, you do not have to go, oh my god, you cheated efficiency, you can't get efficiency five, you, blah, 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 blah. you can, it's so easy. Yes, it costs a fortune, look at that, 19 to get, but you guys just seen how cheap it, it is to actually repair that sucker, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, so once you've got an, a, a pickaxe of doom, keep it repaired, you should be fine. Okay, so now finish with that rant. That was a rant. That that definitely was a rant. We're gonna go out to the desert, and I've got diamonds on me. Data your fruit loop. We're gonna go get um we're gonna get a hot chocolate here. Jump over the fence. I know, I know, out of all those horses, I've got the slowest one. <laughs> Uh, wow, I know, everybody was saying, I've got the slowest horse, I know, but it's hot chocolate, it's my first horse, we'll get more, we'll get more, we'll get a white horse next, and we'll call it white chocolate, I like white chocolate, white Tim Tams, mmm, ooh, more rabbits, okay, so we need cactus, so I don't mind knocking down the cactus, when it comes to cactus farming, but once you start destroying, hello, once you start destroying, like, the entire desert, Farming out the sand is not a good idea. So I think for time for time being, we're gonna just get two a whole stack of cactus, and we're also going to get we're gonna to farm the sand. We're gonna go way over the back, so not this part of the desert, not close to base, because base is technically just over there. And that sun is going down again. Crikey, I'm gonna have to run home. What's down there? I'm gonna have to run home real quick and do some sleeping. Let's try get. 64 cactus before I go home and get that done and then we can farm some sand and we can uh, get some colored glass for our build it's gonna be awesome so guys I'm uh, I'm back um, and I'm out here farming sand on the opposite side of my desert and I've already passed oh it's out of range here but I've already passed another village another sand um, uh, what would you call it? A, a, a desert village. There you go. One of those desert villages. So I've already passed another one. So that's ridiculous. This sea just has so many villages in it. Um, also, I've come across... Check that out in the background. How gorgeous does that look? That is 
an extreme hills by the look of it. So I really want to go check that out before it gets too dark because uh, it's already lunchtime. I thought I would go do some a little bit exploring with you guys, you know, because we're just exploring this brand new map. But far out, doesn't that look gorgeous? That is awesome. And uh, I can feel Minecraft generating brand new terrain right now because my horse is uh, locking up. Oh, can't go any higher. Holy smokes, that is awesome. You could just build something on that. That would just be mad. But yeah, that's a, that's an extreme hill. So that means we could find emeralds, I'm pretty sure, in that that um, that area there. But that is awesome. That is very awesome. All right, back to farming sand on the opposite side of my desert. All righty then, guys. I am back, and I'm just currently waiting for the glass. Yeah, it's almost done. Waiting for the glass to finish smelting down to, well, the sand, I should say, smelting down to glass. And I'm just getting some cactus green out of those cactuses, which is what I want. Um, sounds like something's dying out here. Oh, the sun just come up. There we go. All right. So, yeah. All right. That's doing well. Um, oh, I'm going to repair me shovel while I'm here. That's almost dead because of all the sand I got. Two. No, we need to bring that up. A little bit more. There we go. Full 100% repaired. I love this new enchanting system. It is awesome. Um, I'm going to put these diamonds back in here. Um, I keep a couple of stone on me. Okay, so the bottom one's done. Grab that out. That's almost done. 15 to go. I think we'll go ahead and make some cyan dye here. So we'll just make one stack for now. We'll do absolutely... Well, this should make, yeah, two stacks um, of cyan. And we'll put one of those uh, one of those bad boys away for now. Sand away as well. And how's this going? You serious? Seven left? Oh, what is this on? Seven as well. Okay, be patient, Data. I think we'll, what we'll do is we'll come back. We'll come back and grab all this in a minute. So what we'll do is come up here, grab some stone brick. And what we'll do is go do some marking. Some more marking. That is what we have to do. So, nothing. Good. I'm not going to get jumped. Yes, I am going to get jumped. Holy smokes. Right there. Yeesh. Crikey. Whew. That was close. Oh, I've got to put the glass in. Uh, the glass. The glowstone. Yes, the glass as well. The glowstone needs to go in on this window as well because people, so CD might be going, ding, 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 Dana, you forgot that side. You did the other side, but not that side. Holy smokes. All right. Jump there. Okay, done. Crikey. Okay, let's go ahead and do some marking. All right, so what I mean by marking is where the windows are going to be so I can actually start the skeleton of the other side. Mm, okay, all right, so what we're going to do, I think, okay, all right, so what we'll do, one, two, three, four, five, marking. This will be the six, so that's where the window is. The window will be three wide. So, one, two, three. So, whoop. So this is marking. So, there's another window that's going to go in there. Big, nice, tall window. So, we just did, that's a five, and we do, we, that's what we'll do. To, to, just to even it out. So, one, two, three, four, ah, four, five. Again. Wait a second. I just, I didn't realize something, but technically, the stairs are going to be going there. So, it would only be a three gap. Hmm. Do I want to go wider? Yeah. No. I don't think the stairs bother me. I think five's perfect. So it's technically, yeah, there's going to be a stair there. But doesn't matter. One, two, three, four. There we go. So, yeah. Three wide. Yep. One, two. Well, three windows I want. Three windows. One, two, three, four, five. Whoopsie. Three, four. There we go. We've got my windows, so... And then we'll leave a five gap for even again. One, two, three, four, five. Break, break. Perfect. Okay, so the new windows are going to go in there. All right, that's all nice and even now. We can go ahead and get the counting blocks out of the way. This is just so I can finally get the rest of the structures scaffolding in. I was worried about the window placement. 
I don't know why, but I was. Because I want at least two. I was going to go with two windows, then I was decided on three windows. So I just didn't know how far apart to put the damn windows. But uh, yeah, now we, we have made my decision. There, they're five apart, each window. Perfect. Okay, so this, I guess we can carve those off. I, that's why I said that. I didn't really know how far to take them. It doesn't matter. So what we're going to do now is put a circle in. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Whoopsie, a bit too too much there. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. There we go. Circle. All right. Fantastic. Got, got, got to get the lawnmower out and mow this grass. Jeez, it's everywhere. Okay, so as I was saying when I was talking to you guys last episode, remember we're going to have like a castle sort of thing in the middle here, followed by wings out the side of like shape like that. So we're going to have another one there, another one over there, another one over there. And then we're going to have four towers sort of in the middle here. Yeah, I've got it all in my head. It's all upstairs, but yeah, just get it marked out. So we got a five. So I don't know how long that is. So technically that would be coming out the side here all the way out this side. So I don't know how long that is, but there you go. So that's starting to take shape. And then we've got to put, bring the towers right up. I'm not sure how far to take the towers, to be honest. About 40 blocks, 50 blocks high. So they've got to be pretty decent size. So those towers will come up. But yeah, that's the shape. It's starting to take, well, it's starting to take shape. So we can do the other side as well. And then I think we're going to put the glass in on the front here. And yeah. All right. Let's quickly do this side while we're out here doing this. Making sure everything is even. All right. Same thing. One, two, three. Ah! Two, ah! One, two, three. <laughs> the, the grass is in me way. Jeez. One, two, three, four. Five. All right. There we go. Better. It should be even with the other side. Doing five gaps. Yeah. Yep. Doing five gaps. One, two, three, four, five. Again. Fantastic. Lovely. And we'll probably do the same thing with the glowstone in these windows. So it just, it radiates. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. We go making sure it's not go too wide three wide windows we could go four wide windows but i think it's getting a little large then one two three four five cut the end off here and we are done so yeah fantastic i can't believe i've got to do this three more times though and then i've got to start on the center the center is going to be more difficult as it is but yeah, we won't work on the base every single episode we need to start probably looking for a spider uh, spawn us soon because of the because of yeah because <laughs> we're going to need the carpet for this place aren't we all right same thing so one two three four five one two three one two three four five one two three one two three four five yeah it should be yeah it's exactly in line of the other side which is good one, two, three, four, five. Trying not to lose um, count there. But there we go. And then this side, it looks like I've got a lot of clearing to do. This side's going to run out this way. Not sure how far. I've just got to count how many, like, distance there. And that's how far i got to go out. But there we go. And then we've got to put another tower there and another tower over there. But this is going to connect all nicely. All right, that's glass. Let's stop mucking around. Let's go get that glass all, gl glass all um, made up. For the front there i really want to get that in this episode and we're going to we're going to stick it out and we're going to get it in okay all right okay yep it's finished Woo fantastic all right what we'll do is throw this back in here uh all right okay so grab all the glass out now which we should get free xp for Which is good. Even though it's easy enough to get XP while we're mining. 
And we might build bits and pieces of the base, the non-important stuff, like the very... Yeah, we might build, build bits and pieces of it in live streams as well, of the base. Um, the non-important stuff, the very... Yeah, uh, yeah, we will. Alright, let's go ahead and get this uh, cyan glass made up. Uh, surround the dying in glass. So, it'll be the first time that I'm going to be building all out of stained glass, so that should be good. And we need to, I'm going to shrink it down to um, the panes, the glass panes. We're going to, I'm going to get a few of these panes going because I'm going to use panes instead of full blocks. Okay, we've got oodles of oodles of oodles of glass. All right, let's go put the rest of these away. All right, let's go get that glass in. Finally, they're just talking too much. Crikey. Oh, yeah. All right. So we'll start with the two bottom windows, and then we'll do the big diamond in the middle. Like this. Is it sun going down? Yes, it is. Crikey. Go, 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 go. All right. Our very first window in. Let's get the other side in. Get the other side in real quick. And then we'll go sleep and get the middle in. Oh, my heart rate's going up. Creeper's going to sneak up and do nasty things to me. All right, just got to get the, the center diamond in and then we're done. Well, one side or, yeah. <laughs> Cracky. Alrighty, guys, there you go. She is in. Look at the glass. It looks, oh, it's fantastic. That color, I love it. I love it. That is awesome. I, yeah, no, definitely good. That is the color I'm going with and that's the color I'm sticking with. That'll be the color of all windows. As I said, at night time, which, where's the sun? Oh, bugger. If it was near close, I could have showed, shown you guys. But uh, at night time, that gl all that glass should glow. Literally should look pretty awesome at night. So, cool. Fantastic. We got that job finally done. And um, the well, we've marked the windows out as well. So I know where the, where the windows are going to sit and how far to take it now. So I can go ahead and start on the rest of the structure or the outside structure. Because we already know what it's looking. It's going to look like that times times three more yeah three more plus and then we got to get started on these towers on each side as well all right guys thanks for watching episode six of minecraft down under if you like this video don't forget to leave a like all right guys bye <laughs>